presented by That Wolf from Hyrule Productions. Hello, everybody. This is That Wolf from Hyrule. And, yeah, I'm wearing my stuff. So this is what I was talking about earlier. Alrighty, let's pick up where we left off. And there's a bunch of presents attacking me right off the bat. How do you like that? This is a good, uh... Uh, this is good to actually demonstrate the, um... The Zuka that I bought. That's lame. <laughs> Where this protoplasm can't do damage. Well, that's useful. It's basically just like a bomb. Ow. Oh, darn. Okay. <laughs> it did not work. Stop spilling on everybody. That is annoying. Oh no! Oh no! Kill it! Kill it! Kill it! Smash! Yeah! Break that thing. <laughs> Break a cup of coffee. That's hilarious. Well, since I'm right here, I might as well. <gasps> okay. Awesome. He just got the heavy bazooka. Yes! So I didn't even have to buy it. That's a bit disappointing, but that's okay. Check this out. I just sold a bazooka to a random lady. <laughs> It doesn't get any more random than that. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm having so much fun. And it's uh, automatically more compounded by the by the fact that I'm wearing probably the coolest set of stuff ever from Fangamer. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, this stuff you can buy on Fangamer. So you can't just, you know, get lucky and find it online somewhere. No, it's all in a pack. It's convenient, and it's only $56 in, uh, plus shipping. So, you too could also look like Ness. Oh, I'm gonna see what the heavy bazooka does. Okay, so, I'm gonna bash the mystical record, have Paula bash a prat with protoplasm, and use the heavy bazooka on the scalding cup of coffee because it's got splash damage. Yeah! Holy crap! That is so much better than the regular bazooka already, so basically you could just one-shot everything. In one turn. It was a cup of coffee. Yay, I'm excited. Alright, now where do I go again? Oh yeah, that's right, this one. Second from the left. Or right. I guess the, some of the sounds in this, uh... This music track is supposed to be Dungeon Man talking. I never really addressed that last time I played... Played this. Excuse me, that was a hiccup. So, yeah, I guess you're supposed to be hearing Dungeon Man talking. That's interesting. Spook! Let Bazooka his ass! Oh my goodness, the Bazooka killed him! <laughs> I can imagine it's like some sort of like Gold Knight type Bazooka, where it's like a big ass shoulder fired monstrosity that just obliterates everything when you kill it. That's right. Okay, so I get, basically I just gotta get up to Brick Road to talk him. Talk to him. Or I should say Dungeon Man. <laughs> uh, I love the characterization of him. And here's where the game lags because it's the damn zoo. Uh, come on. Hey, there's my phone dinging for some reason. That's okay. Alright. Here we go. There's an old submarine at the back of the dungeon. It can be used to cross the river. There's a goodbye exit over there. It will take you to the submarine. Let's make a mistake on which exit you take. You need to take the goodbye exit. Hope to see you again. <laughs> okay, where's the actual goodbye exit? And this is where I just came from, right? Yeah, good job, you finally made it. Okay. No problem here. Return home, okay. <laughs> I guess, yeah, here we are, entering with courage. Hmm. 
Oh, there's a butterfly over there. There's a talisman ribbon. Ooh. Ribbons always work better for Paula. There we go. Where'd the butterfly go? Anyways. I wonder if that's controversial. Okay, let's uh, go ahead and call Dad and save really quick. And then call Mom to make sure he doesn't get homesick. Oh my god, I almost have 100 grand in the bank. Sounds like you're calling from the moon. <laughs> that gave Tim a flea bat. And Tim is the dog. Ooh, what's this? Oh, that's a, that's an enemy. And I just beat them all. Anyways, yeah, let's see, walk through this thing of memorabilia. Oh, the vehicle collection. This is my secret hobby. So yeah, what's up with this big yellow taxi? Taxi with no engine. Beautiful, even though the thing doesn't run. What's this? Rusty bicycle. Rust is the perfect break. <laughs> this is a gift from Dr. Andronus. Be careful how you use it. I'll use it immediately. That's how I'll use it. Only a few seconds since the machine revitalizes you, just like a good night's sleep. <laughs> Alrighty. Broken down old submarine. The yellow color is purely coincidental. Like another Beatles song? We all live in a yellow submarine. Ha, yes, it could still work. Carried out the submarine that Anton... I do carry out a submarine. Here we go. I like how all it is is just a periscope. You don't really see it beyond what's already, like, yeah. Oh, there's an email. Huh, okay. I'll have to check that later. Okay. I hate doing this in the middle of the recording, but I gotta take care of something really quick. I'll do it after I land. Okay, here we are in deep darkness. Can we inspect the submarine again? No problem here. Alright, so I will uh, be right back. Welcome back, sorry about the delay. I seem to have picked up a guest in the little interlude there between two these two videos. May I introduce Suzuka? Hey, how's it going? Yeah, so here we are in deep darkness, and I'm talking to nobody, and there's a bird phone over here. No problem here. It's, it's a bird. There's a phone. <laughs> the gun to that part of the game where you're talking to a bird phone that looks like a toucan with a phone. Yeah, it's a toucan with a phone on its head. <laughs> oh goodness, this is hilarious. So I might as well record here because this area is very tough and I don't know how far I'm going to get. So, yeah, let's talk to these monkeys. Monkeys are in the inn in the forest. You can stay here for free. Oh! The monkeys don't charge you rent or anything. That's amazing. Okay, yeah, that is cool. That's... Okay, that will come in handy. There. So basically, there's a... This hole in the... In the forest, and that's where the inn is. That is hilarious. Alright, it's time to sludge through uh, here. Wait, that's right. Hawkeye, the monkeys around here know what the heck's going on. They're having a monkey party. Who knows? Hawkeye can't be used here. What the heck? Uh, yeah, that's right. I gotta sludge through the frickin' water here. And it hurts you. Oh, right, let's God. get up here to these monkeys. 
Because I heard that these monkeys up here can teach you something useful. What is Satoru Iwata doing up here? Uh -huh. Okay, I'll, I'll talk to him in a bit. Let's talk to these monkeys. This is deep darkness. When you walk through the swamp, you endanger your health. You can't help it. That's why it's called deep darkness. Okay. I want to become a pig. If I become a pig, I'll find mushrooms called magic troubles. They're located in the swamp and can be found by scent. You know, a pig nose would be enough to find those great truffles by scent alone. Okay. It's really dark in the deep darkness, isn't it? It's pretty creepy, don't you think? If you don't have the Hawkeye here, you're helpless. Okay. Which I do have. <laughs> I don't feel like it's necessary for us to talk. There's somebody hidden behind the tree and he's all like, I don't want to talk. Hi, how are I'm you? Okay. I'm not a bad guy. I came from one of the world's largest economic powers to run this small rural village. A businessman that is truly tough to <laughs> is truly tough to travel oh, this far God. for the best opportunities. Okay. And I'm a tough businessman. Yes, sir. I'm also a representative of the doctor over there. What, a, what do you want to buy? B, do, do you want to heal? Needless to say, this is a rural village. We have poor items. Okay. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna get both. I'm gonna get two oh, of these. Oh, see, a lot of really? Wow. Yeah. Uh, hang on. I gotta find inventory space. Oh, wow. Yeah, I can I really get inundated with a bunch of crap if I couple in the can. Yes. I need to sell. Where's... He's got a gold bracelet still, yeah. Yeah, these diamond bands, I know I'd find them somewhere. <laughs> oh my god, that's such a big increase. Like, 50 whole points. Wow. Um... So I don't need any secret herb because that uh, hmm. bottle of DX water might come in handy because that would refill your pee pee. <laughs> I know that's like exactly. one. It's not something else. <laughs> I heard monkeys living in some de desert can teleport. Oh, you learned how to teleport from the monkeys? I want to try. Oh, you want to? Will you tell me how to do it? Yes. Okay, I'll try it. And here goes a monkey trying to teleport. Ha! <laughs> he uh, hit the it wall. hits a wall. Yeah. I'll never give up. I want to try again. Here it goes. We so basically for teleport alpha, this is what you do. You have to run around in a circle, or or a really long straight line. I did it. Did you see me? That's awesome. Here's a small gift to thank you. Monkey's love. Thank God. Oh my god, this is the coolest random thing you could get. Um, shoot. Oh, PSI Carmel will come in handy. Why do I still have a lucky coin? Okay, I'm gonna sell that. Oh, and that great charm. Wait, actually. Yeah. How does a person know to come here to Deep Darkness? Oh, here we go. Hi, is this a tool shop? What are you selling? Okay. Uh. Yeah, lucky coin. How about 3,000? Is that a fair trade? Thanks a lot. It was sure worth it to come all the way out here. And that's the voice exactly what I did when I, um. When I was, uh, doing these, these lines for, uh, voice acted Earthbound on, uh, Angel Arch channel. That was pretty fun. Uh -oh. <laughs> Yeah, they they did do this project over like four something years. Up, oh, it's the same guy, so I don't have to do it. Uh, here you can have also. Where is? Oh, there it is. Great charm. Two hundred. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, uh, let's see. Here, what does Jeff have that somebody else could use? Bunch of multi bottle rockets. Uh, sudden guts pill, I'll give that to. I can't really give that to anybody. I have. Oh, yeah, that's right. I'm being freaking got a cup of coffee in my damn inventory. Oh. Well, I'll find some way to use it. In fact, I'll just use it now. Here. Just rearrange 
managing inventory here. <laughs> I may or may not leave this in. There we go. And give the monkey's love to Phil. There we go. Monkey something. Now, what does this guy have? Shh, don't talk too loud. What do you want? I got what you need. <laughs> a combat yo-yo, a super bomb, and a multi freaking bottle rocket. Yes! Those are awesome. I got enough for two. They are dead useful. They're pretty much boss killers. In fact, speaking of which, there's a boss in this jungle. Alright, back in the sludge. God, you move so slow. Why is it still dark? I mean, I have a Hawkeye. Even slimier little pile on the electric eel, oh good lord. Okay. Kill it with Beetle! And also Thunder! And Bazooka! <laughs> oh my god, no! Ooh, both of them hit it! <laughs> then that's the power of splash damage. Yes! <laughs> Take that! Wait, I should be making some so obscene gestures. Because I'm Ness. Wait, no, I'm not. I'm that wolf from Hyrule. And there's a banana. So let's see if I could use the Hawkeye now. Yay! All right, sludging through the water here. What's this? Why is there a random snorkeler? What does this guy do? Be quiet, I look very important, but I'm not really. I'm a cash dispenser man. If you want to withdraw cash, I'll trade you a handling fee. Which is the same amount of your withdrawal. Oh, no, <laughs> no thank you. So if I want $1,000, he's going to charge me $1,000 for withdrawing that for the convenience. <laughs> what a jerk. It's like banks for life. Right? That's actually more like Bank of America. And yes, I see. <laughs> oh, here yeah. we go. The the bull the pit bull slug. All right, I know exactly what they need. Kill it with fire. Uh, B or C asker. All right, here we go. <laughs> oh my god! Splash damage on the bazooka is ridiculous. That's right, I keep forgetting that Elliot fights last, so basically I'm just wasting PP with him every time I use his, uh, his ability. Inside the present was a salt packet, and Phil took it. <laughs> Ooh, wait, do I have any rock candy? Probably not. I already ate it. That's okay. So there's a, there's a thing where you could do, it's basically this game's equivalent of EV training, where if you give a character... Uh, b a bunch of random ingredient packets that will s end up sprinkling on uh, on things. Um, basically, you could use the rock candy infinitely until you run out of stuff. And it only gets used in battle. Okay, so I have to go this way. What about if I go... No, yeah, I gotta go this way. Okay, game, I'll play by your rules. Just moving incredibly slowly. Why is there a random box here? No problem here. Come on, I just want to get through here. There we go. What's this present? Beef jerky! I got too much stuff. Crap. I hear some like I know. Dwarf Ground came out on the Game Boy Advance in Japan in 2003. Yeah, that was Mother... That was Mother 1 plus 2. And this is yep. Mother 3. Or Mother 2. Also known as Earthbound. Yep. Alright. It didn't taste it put salt on a banana. <laughs> That's awesome. Alright, what's this enemy, I wonder? Is this another eel? Alrighty. Just wanna find a safe place to to 
to uh, call it quits for a while. Ah, uh, here we go. Bird. Oh no! <laughs> it's the photographer! What is he doing in a place like this? Perks I don't know. Instantaneously. I'm a photographic genius, if I do say so myself. Okay, get ready for an instant memory. Look at the camera. Ready? Say fuzzy pickles! Fuzzy pickles! <laughs> Wow, what a great photograph. I will always bring back the fondest of memories. And now this is more hilarious because I'm wearing this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, looks like this is actually a good place to stop. Here, let me get this present. There's an IQ capsule. Oh my god, yes. IQ makes, um, makes PSI more powerful. Actually, no. IQ is good for fixing stuff, so that goes to Anton. Kawik! Village tender comes nobody. It's far. No, because. Okay. Never mind. That's not a good place for me to go. It's just a distraction. So, where I need to go is down this way. I forgot where everything is. Oh, look, a crash helicopter. I wonder what that's supposed to mean. Sludging through the swamp. Ow. Every time the swamp, screen yep. flashes red, that means you've been hurt. Oh no! I can't help but think my character's a little overleveled for this. What is that? It's completely broken. I thought I could fix it, but on re-examination, I noticed there's no engine. Hmm. So I wonder where the engine for that went. There's a couple life noodles. Those are useful in case somebody dies. There's a giant plant here. The demonic petunia? That's for sure. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh... I'm going to try PSI Flash. And just in case that doesn't work, I'm going to kill it with fire! And a bazooka! Oh no! Oh no! Really, oh no! Oh no! <laughs> oh no, just kill it! Just kill it! Just kill it! Just kill it! Oh, I saved him. Whew. <laughs> See, that is why the rolling HP meter is awesome. It could literally save your characters from death in the event that you could take mortal damage. Alright, come on, can I find a, something, a safe spot or somewhere? Sludging through the swamp again. Here, let me just do this really quick. Ow. So where are they at? 166, 139? Yeah, pay attention. It takes like two d two health away every time you get... What the hell is that? Why is there a master... That does not look friendly at all. A, why is there a master barf here? A master barf, it. yeah. Watch it, you might barf in your face. It's a big pile of puke. Okay, so... He, I'm grouping. <laughs> So, but Belch isn't the only one. Okay. It's his cousin. Yeah. I'm gonna kill this thing. Ha, ah, take that. I guess this must be uh, Belch's cousin. It did not work, oh no. It. There's cousin or something else like that, yeah. I don't want to spy on it. Come on, just die. Yes! So basically it's on screen, it's, it's overworld sprite looks like Belch, but it's actually really looking like a pile of puke. <laughs> and what? Okay, well that's a more swampy appropriate enemy as a crocodile. A hard crocodile uh, in its cohort. Uh, just kill it. Actually, I don't even need to use a PSI beetle. How about Scythe Flash? This bazooka's coming in real handy. <laughs> just looking at the backgrounds of every character as we fight. Oh no! No! Smash! 
<laughs> Save it, Paula. No. <laughs> Dang it, crocodile. Is it sad that the bazooka does more damage than his regular weapon? Oh no! There goes Anton! <sighs> Saved him. So here's where those couple life noodles come in handy. Yeah, sure, priest the trip going back to the hospital for huh? Oh, no, nobody has anything. <laughs> okay, so hang on. Um... Here, I'll give this royal iced tea to, uh, uh, to Anton. Oh, he- oh, Anton's got a couple life noodles, that's good. Alright, now let's give a life up to Anton. Alright, hopefully get out of this sludge here. Come on! Uh, there we go. Alright, what's down this way? Ooh, present! A souvenir coin! I wonder if is there anything better than Lucky Coin? Alright, let's see. It gives up 30 defense. Maybe I can use give that to Anton. Uh, what's beyond here? I think now that I'm on dry land, it's probably a good place to pause and rest. Um, not literally, but figuratively, because I think this needs to have a have a conclusion here. So yeah, this has been PSI Tuesday, and thank you for joining me. Not you, the, not the viewers, I'm talking to my guests. <laughs> <laughs> anytime, man, anytime. Right. So, yeah, so once again, if, in case you forgot what this is, this is part of the Awesome Nest Combo Pack. I'm going to be linking the item in, in question to from uh, the fan gamer site to the link to the bottom of the uh, in the description and also the actual combo pack so keep an eye out for that whenever this video comes up i don't know because i've got to get ready for work so yeah this has been that wolf from hyrule signing out <laughs>